Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Big John, Big John's Blue House. And the old man hooch, huh? The original. Ride or die. My right hand man. This boy's been next to me for the last 10 plus years. Oh boy. Huh. With everything that's been going on and shit, man, and, uh, you know, the craziness with Gotti and fucking everything. Hooch wasn't doing good here for a while, about a week, so, week or so. Had to bring him home and, uh, keep a real close eye on him. He just really didn't want to do much nothing. <whistles> oh, man. So that's why, you know, uh, really haven't seen the old boy in many videos lately. But today, he heard me come outside and start the truck up and uh, come to the garage. And he met me at the gate. So I opened up the gate for him and let him come in the garage where the gym is now. Um, you know, I ain't even got a chance to show you all that. Turned the garage at the house into a gym. Uh, you know, that's where Hooch has been hanging out with us at. Every after, uh, every evening we lift, Hooch is right there. Right next to somebody at their feet. Trying to fuck up their lifting. Wanting to love Don and hug Don and somebody to pick him up and hold him. Oh, boy. So, it's scary there. Um, you know, like I said, dealing with the old man on top of dealing with Gotti. Excuse me, in that situation. On top of still. Still trying to get everything else done. Um, having multiple properties to take care of and clean and, you know, like I said, you know, my father and mother's property here, when they bought this seven years ago and completely redid the house up here that my little brother's living in now. The house is only seven, eight years older. Yeah, I know it ain't over eight years old. Um, completely brand new. Inside and out. It's been a lot here lately. Um, oh man. His hearing ain't the best no more. I say his name and he really don't pay too much mind to me. Until I walk up on him and... If he's sleeping, fuck you think he's dead. Like I do every goddamn day, I wake up and check on him. Or every time I come outside and check on him and he's sleeping. I walk up on him and he just lays there until I touch him. Ah, until I touch him and startle the shit out of him. Come on, old man. Hey, Hooch. Hey. Hey. Hooch. This way, bud. Come on. Like I said, man, everything you guys see in this yard, or my partner's yard, or any time you hear me say a hooch daughter, or a two times hooch daughter, or two times hooch son, or three times hooch, and, um, 
grandsons and great grandsons and granddaughters and great granddaughters. This is this is who I'm referring to. The original extreme pocket monster. The original boy. When Hooch was younger, there wasn't a dog that could stack next to that son of a bitch. A lot like his grandson got him. Come on, old man, let's get you in some shade. So yeah, it's been rough. Come on, let's get you in some shade, boy. Come on, get you some loving. Come on. Oh boy. You know, at the end of the day, you know, people that really don't know us don't understand why we do what we do. And, you know, a lot of people, man, it's just a dog. Just a dog. Well, to a lot of people, a dog is just a dog. Somebody like me, dog saved my life. Dogs in general have saved my life. Dogs will love you regardless of who you are, who you were, the things you've done in your past, or the things you might do in your future. That dog don't give a fuck and never judge you. They just want to love you. And they just want you to love them. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Give a huge shout out to all the subscribers, new and old, like, shares, comments, followers, all the love that we get and continue to get. I guess this video here. It's just, just a part of life video, I guess is what you can call it. But me and the old man are going to sit back in the shade and relax a little bit. And uh, get this fire started and get the rest of these dogs taken care of and get after it. But again, man, huge shout out to y'all. We love y'all, man. Keep rocking with us.